be the last day in the old parliament building and looking forward to a new innings in the new parliament building. But there's plenty of attachments to old feelings, old memories and also a tinge of nostalgia. And that's the reason why the government has made big plans. At 9.15 a.m., all of them have been asked to assemble. There have been special enclosures which have been made in which all member of parliaments are going to assemble and turn by turn take photographs. And this is going to be etched in memory of all the MPs who have been inside parliament, the old one. But of course, many of the MPs who one spoke to, all of them talked about the memories of when they used to go to the old parliament building. For many of them, it was the first time over there. And therefore, they leave behind with some kind of a nostalgia and a little bit of emotional letdown. But at the same time, there are more big plans. For the last time, the central hall of the old building will be buzzing with action. That is going to be roughly at around the photo opportunity ends. By around 11 a.m., there is going to be a kind of a meet and greet in which the Prime Minister, the Speaker, the Vice Chairman, Vice President, that is the Chairperson of Rajya Sabha, are expected to speak. And maybe other MPs will also be given a chance. Essentially, it's going to be saying a goodbye to the old building, but also looking forward to new innings. And then after that, the new session begins the second day in the new parliament building. Around 1.15 p.m. in Lok Sabha, 2.15 in Rajya Sabha. Well, we've been putting out pictures of the new parliament building, but apart from the eight bills, there are, of course, the big bills, the game-changer bill that we all have been talking about. If we look at all the pictures which have been put up, well, it does show that there is going to be a kind of a contribution or rather remembering India's rich cultural heritage. First of all, the constitution, a copy of which has also been put on display, the preamble, and also the fact is that how India has contributed to the world as the mother of democracy that exhibition has also been put up and how they are separate directives for Lok Sabha as well as Rajya Sabha well the new building is certainly very swanky very modern it also does away with this auto uh, the you know the mic problem which the opposition parties have often complained about it's got an auto auto uh, sound uh, mechanism also in place every MP will be given a laptop or an iPad where they can scroll up and down when the bills are being taken up for passage and consideration and apart from that, there is going to be a synchronized place both in Lok Sabha as well as in Rajya Sabha, a separate gallery for the media as well, biometric entry into the new parliament building and of course floors and offices have already been designated to various party offices as well as to all ministers, senior, junior ministers as well. But as it leaves behind the old parliament building, there are lots of memories which are being taken along. There have been landmark decisions which have been taken in the old parliament building for such a long time. But the new one also brings forward their entire aspiration that India's growth story or the Amrit Kal as the government calls it.